It's the final day of Stage 2 of Bet Victor Championship League Snooker Winners Week. Two more players to find for tomorrow's finals day. And Phil Yates is with me. Phil, they're joining a great lineup. And after yesterday's play, the finish we had on Table 2, Ken Doherty, that high break to qualify. The story of the week, no doubt. I went to bed last night, not quite believing it. I woke up this morning, still not believing it. He knew what he'd got to do. He realised it was realistic to win the match. But if he drew, he knew then he'd got to make a, a break of 136 or more to supersede Tepchara and News 135. And so in the penultimate frame to make a 139 total clearance, his largest break on the tour for many months. What a performance. It really was tremendous. It highlighted two things. One, what a great player Ken Doherty is, the 1997 world champion. And it also highlighted the genius of this format. Absolutely. And on table one, Cameron Wilson was the player who, who got through it. Dave Gilbert forced it through to the final match against Cameron, but Dave wasn't quite there, was he, at the table, whereas Cameron was very much in stroke. Dave Gilbert is an absolutely tremendous player, former semi-finalist in the World Championship, multiple ranking given finalist also. But the start of the season, for whatever reason, he's not been there. He wasn't at his best yesterday, and you can't afford to be below par against Cameron Wilson who's turning into one of the premier match players in the game. And what Wilson's success meant yesterday was, we've got three of the world's top six on finals day. Now, bear in mind, Ronnie O'Sullivan didn't enter this. So three of the top five seeds in the tournament are still going. And two more players will join group two. Karen Wilson, Ken Doherty in group two tomorrow. Two players to join them from today's groups. And while the group we've got on table one, two former Championship League snooker winners, multiple Championship League snooker winners, in fact, including John Higgins and Martin Gould, plus Tom Ford and Jamie Clark. I think it's an absolutely terrific group. John Higgins has had a new lease of life. He's using a titanium ferrule. He's using the new town chalk. And I think he's just got some confidence that he hasn't had for a while. So clearly he's favourites. But Martin Gould has already beaten John Higgins this season in the European Masters and went on to reach the final. Jamie Clark, one of the most improved players on the circuit, should have been in the quarter-final of the World Championship, just a couple of pots away from beating Anthony McGill in the last 16. And Tom Ford, he can beat anyone, anytime. He's such a, a fine player and a really heavy scorer. Yeah, it'll be a very interesting group here on Table 1. On Table 2, Joe Perry, Mark Davis, Lee Hang and Tian Pengfei. Yeah, I mean, the Chinese in general have done well in this tournament, two of them still standing, Zhao Zintong and Zhu Yulong. I think the two Chinese players today will have their work cut out though, and I'll say the reason for that is that Joe Perry and Mark Davis have got vast Championship League experience. Joe Perry was the inaugural winner in 2008, and of course Mark Davis set a world record in this tournament, the only player in professional snooker to make two 147s in the same event in the same year. Yeah, unbelievable stuff from both of those players in the history of the Championship League snooker. Will they be there on finals day? You can find out. Tune in live on Free Sports in the UK, globally at matchroom.live.